Michael Jordan has his own personal golf course? Watch the whole video to find out. Today on Triple Double Nation, we're going to be looking at six things Michael Jordan owns that costs more than your whole entire life. Here we go. At number six, his Porsche 911 Turbo S. Michael Jordan is widely considered the greatest basketball player of all time. Trust me, we won't get into the MJ versus LeBron debate. That's for another day. But the six-time NBA champion has owned some of the greatest cars as well. First up on the list of things MJ owns is a Porsche. The 993 generation Porsche 911 Turbo S was the ultimate Porsche in the late 1990s. Built by Porsche exclusive manufacturer, the Turbo S had larger turbochargers, an additional oil cooler, and a modified engine management system. The upgraded flat six engine purchased 424 horsepower, which is 22 more ponies than the standard 993 turbo spun up. During car and driver testing, the 993 Turbo S launched to 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and raced to the quarter mile in 12.2 seconds at 114 miles per hour. We have seen on TV many times Michael Jordan exiting in his red 993 Turbo S with his Air license plate. MJ might also be the GOAT of vanity plates, and this car is a true sight to behold and costs around $100,000 with all of the customization that Michael Jordan has done on it. At number 5, his McLaren Mercedes SLR 722. The Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren was a joint venture between McLaren's Formula One team and Mercedes and was produced between 2003 and 2010. Jordan's example is a 722 edition, a limited edition introduced back in 2006 that honors the late Sterling Moss and his co-driver Dennis Jenkinson's victory in a 300 SLR with the starting number 722 at the Mile Maglia in 1955. It's finished in crystal antimony gray with black 19 inch wheels and has a stiffer suspension with a lower ride height plus larger front brakes and upgraded aero. There's also a red 722 badging and tinted head and taillights, and the interior features carbon fiber and Alcantara trim. A supercharged 5.4 liter supercharged V8 is under the hood, and in the 722 edition, it spits out 641 horsepower and 605 pound-feet of torque. The current price of the car is just above $600,000. At number 4, the Bugatti Veyron Sangnar. If you've noticed, a lot of cars on this list are before his retirement, with the exception of this and the prior, and that's because Jordan has been very discreet about how he spends his money since retiring. But it's been reported that he owns one of 12 Sang Noirs, or Black Bloods, a particularly exquisite edition of the EB 16.4 Veyron that was inspired by the Knight and the Art Deco Type 575 Atlantic and Count Drake among its other high-profile customers. The only reason Jordan owns this car is to show off and indicate to Mayweather that he's not the only one who can afford the lavish car. The car has ridiculously high fuel consumption as the quad turbocharged engine enables drivers to get 8 miles per gallon in the city and 14 miles per gallon on the highway. The engine pumps out a whopping 1001 horsepower and reaches 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds. The Veyron's top speed is a staggering 253 miles per hour. As we know, Jordan is really rich. I mean, so rich to even own a car that's almost worth 2 million US dollars. Wow. At number 3, his Chicago mansion. In the Chicago suburbs, Michael Jordan owns a 7.39 acre, 56,000 square foot property with an infinity pool, putting green with Jordan brand flag sticks, tennis court, multiple outdoor spaces, and oh yeah, a 32,000 square foot home. The house features 9 bedrooms, 19 bathrooms, and a giant 23 welded onto the gate of the driveway. It also has a full court basketball gym complete with a Jumpman logo at the center court surrounded by Jordan's children names. However, this house was Jordan's primary residence for years until 2007, then he moved after that, and this house is on sale currently with a listing of about 14.9 million US dollars. At number 2, The Grove 23. Well, from this name, this might not look like something that interesting, but it's actually a private golf course owned by our very own MJ. The course has had fewer than 80 members since it opened in 2019, many of whom are high-profile celebrities. 
The 23 in the name refers to the Roman numeral representing the number Jordan wore with the Chicago Bulls, and the chorus twists in an ingenious double helix routing that can be played in four 9 plus 9 combinations, and in shorter 3 to 6 hole loops. The key to the flexibility is the clustering of greens and tees and a crossover junction after the 4th and 13th holes. Walking off the 4th green, for instance, play can continue at the 5th, or it can switch over to the 14th and finish in the opposite direction. So each 9 can be broken into sections, in fact it's possible to play continuous internal circuits without ever returning home, enhancing the likelihood of ongoing presses, overtimes, and emergency holes. The estimated cost to build this course was 15 to 20 million US dollars without the land costs as well. Sheesh man, I can't even imagine that much of money. And finally at number 1, his 2311 Racing. 2311 Racing is an American professional auto racing organization that competes in the NASCAR Cup Series. It's owned and operated by none other than our Michael Jordan, with current Joe Gibbs racing driver Denny Hamlin as a minority partner. During the summer of 2020, rumors swirled that basketball player Michael Jordan intended on purchasing an ownership stake in Richard Petty Motorsports, who fielded the only black driver in the NASCAR Cup Series, Bubba Wallace. Such claims were repeatedly denied by Jordan's management team, and on September 8, 2021, veteran motorsports executive Steve Lauletta was named team president after serving as the interim president since the team's foundation. On September 21, 2020, Jordan and Deddy Hamlin announced the formation of a cup team to begin competition in 2021 with Jordan as majority owner, Hamlin as a minority owner and Wallace as the driver, and the team bought a guaranteed starting spot in every 2021 race by purchasing a charter from Jermaine Racing. Wallace, 27, is one of the most successful African American drivers in US stock car history and currently is the only driver of color, while Jordan is the first black majority owner of any NASCAR team since Hall of Famer Wendell Scott in the 1970s. The most interesting part is that this team is worth a whopping $150 million. Before we close out this video, we thought we'd give one honorable mention, so here we go. His Air Jordan partnership. Nike has always been Jordan's biggest backer, both financially and marketing wise. Jordan helped transform Nike from a scrappy underdog into one of the largest, most valuable consumer brands in the world. The Nike swoosh is ubiquitous today, yet that was hardly the case in the mid-1980s. Adidas was 50% larger by revenue, and Reebok had just burst on the scene and would surpass Nike in revenue by 1987. MJ's first shoe with Nike was banned by the NBA because it didn't meet the league's color standards. Nike paid the fine and seized the moment with an iconic 1984 commercial. On October 15th, Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe, a voice read as Jordan dribbled a basketball. Quote, on October 18th, the NBA threw him out of the game. Fortunately, the NBA can't keep you from wearing them. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Let us know if we missed any other expensive thing owned by Michael Jordan in the comments section down below. We hope you liked this video, thank you so much for watching until the end, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.